I hereby declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the United States of America that to the best of my knowledge and belief the foregoing is true and correct and I have the authority to act on behalf of the owner of the copyrights involved. I have good faith, belief that the use of materials identified below is not authorised by the owner and therefore infringes on its rights pursuant to section 512 of the US copyright law. Signed, Liberty Hangout, LLC. Yes. Um, Caitlin Bennett has got lawyers involved to try and take my videos down. Hello everyone, I'm Alex. Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, this isn't going to be like some funny reaction commentary uh, where we look at the silly things Caitlin Bennett has done, said and tweeted recently. Um, which is a lot, by the way. There's a lot of that. I'm sure I can show a few of those tweets. Uh, they're public, you know, uh, just like the videos are. I'm not going to get in trouble for showing those, am I? What spurred this video on today is not some silly video or ridiculous statement that's been made. Unfortunately not. It's legal. Oh no, got to get legal involved. Give me a second, I've just got to go and um, pick out my best suit. Alright, now I feel... um. A lot more comfortable. So if you haven't gathered already, I received an email from YouTube saying that my video on Caitlin Bennett, specifically my first video on Caitlin Bennett called Caitlin Bennett Gets Owned, had a copyright takedown notice filed against it because I had infringed on copyright laws. Now if you go through the video, it's reaction commentary. It's protected by fair use. I play a clip and then I critique it or I make a joke and I only use about 10 to 15 seconds of the video in between these like segments that I'm doing. It's not like I'm re-uploading her video. It's a commentary video. It's actually what she does. So she filed a copyright strike against me because she didn't like what I had to say in my video reacting to her reacting to videos. So she filed a copyright strike against me, a channel that makes commentary videos based on other people's content that they have uploaded to the internet, and then she goes on regularly and uploads videos where she does the exact same thing I do. Our channels aren't very different. Um, well, they're, they're quite different uh, in policy, but, but not in terms of content. I'm going to take this off because, uh, thankfully, YouTube got involved and instantly denied the takedown request that Caitlin Bennett filed against me and my channel. But by using the copyright system as a form of weapon to remove videos and to put strikes against people's channels, therefore putting them in a position where they can't make money or they can't upload videos if they get enough strikes, that's bad news because it also means you're opening up the platform to be attacked against you. And there's no reason for any of us to do this anymore, because if we're going to be using the system to take down videos, then people are just going to use it to take down our ones. So, no winning there. Doesn't make any sense. Why have you filed it against me and multiple other YouTubers? YouTuber Sam Collins is in this email with two videos attached that Caitlin Bennett wanted removed. A YouTuber by the name of Rowley, who I know personally, had one of his videos in here that they wanted removed. Jammy Dodger, Christina my own, who made a video on this whole subject, which is actually the reason I found out this was happening. Originally, I just thought it was kind of a dodgy takedown notice, maybe it was an auto-claim and YouTube had rejected it. But until I watched her video, and I read through the email, I realised, oh no, this is a planned attack, and um, they want to take my channel down. Then there's me, not important enough to be at the top of the list, which I do take personally. American Freedom World Peace and the Young Turks, as well as Philip DeFranco. A man who literally reports the news. And this is the email that YouTube sent back, which really made me feel like there was a lot more faith restored in the platform. And I greatly appreciate the fact that YouTube now is taking the accurate steps to protect its creators. Thank you very much for your notification. We were unable to remove all of the URLs that you submitted. Um, the following URLs remain live. Uh, by the looks of it here, it's all of them. So... Unlucky Caitlin. We are very concerned that your copyright notification may not be valid for some or all of the videos identified in your notification. I love that. You know, you should be a bit sassy. Oh, hey, um, you know, some or all of them 
Looks like all of them. Please keep in mind that in many countries it is legal to use copyrighted works in specific ways without the owner's authorization, particularly for transformative purposes, such as news reporting, parody, commentary, or review, which is exactly what everybody in this video has been doing, and exactly what you do, Caitlin. So why are you trying to take these videos down? When you're meant to be an arbiter of free speech and the freedom to enact your freedoms. Why are you trying to silence people? Isn't that like the complete opposite of what you stand for? But the crazy thing about this is they then email back. And I'm getting it all in this thread. I've just been reading through it. And it's mental. Dear YouTube team, Liberty Hangout LLC creates content at great expense, including personal expense and at times physical risk to its reporters, including Caitlin Bennett and Justin Muldo. This includes the videos identified in the DMCA takedown notices. Well, here's one, uh, bright guy. Maybe, um... Don't make that content anymore. I don't know, man. Like, just because it's, like, causing you a problem doesn't mean other people can't look at it and go, hey, man, maybe I should, like, um, take that video that's public and uh, take the piss out of it. Even if you are having, like, physical expenses made, that's you who made the video, you know? It's not our fault that we took a video that you posted to the internet and went, oh, man, isn't this a bit stupid? And clearly, you agree. They then go on to claim that some of the watermarks have been removed from the footage. Now, I didn't remove any of the watermarks in my footage. In fact, I proudly showed the Liberty Hangout intro. In fact, roll it. <laughs> Dubstep, man, I'm a big fan of that. You know, I, I love that. There's no reason I would ever want people to not know who that video was made by. It's made by Liberty Hangout, everybody. Everybody who's watching this video, I want you to know, Liberty Hangout make the videos that Caitlin Bennett uploads. It's her and her husband who run that channel. And, and that's cool, man. You, you, you can know that they own it. And, and I want it to be clear that those are the people who own it. Now don't go and harass them. Don't go down and take their videos down. And don't go and like file false copyright strikes at people. But um, hey, you know, I'm not in fear or bothered by the fact that people know who you are. And I'm not trying to stop people from knowing that. I'm more than happy with people being completely aware that it's Caitlin Bennett and the people involved who make them. Now, because you've said here that that's now personal risk, do you want people to show that it's Liberty Hangout, which apparently is putting you at risk, or do you want people to hide it and then file a copyright strike against them? I don't know, what do you want here? I don't understand what you want from the people in this email. Apparently you want us to not make videos on it, but to leave the watermarks in. Make your mind up. They then link my video here and say that I blocked and removed the logo, which I didn't do. I show the Liberty Hangout logo multiple times throughout the video. In fact, here they all are. So I think it's kind of crazy that I've been added onto a list of people who have done exactly what Caitlin Bennett does regularly on her channel, and she doesn't ask permission to put the Logan Paul impulsive clips in, she doesn't ask permission to use James Charles content in her videos, but me, me and these other commentary YouTubers, apparently that's what we're meant to do now, and we're meant to make sure that everybody can see the content. But then also, we're not meant to do that, because apparently some of the stuff that they've posted on their YouTube channel might cause them harm and risk, and it's our fault for them putting that on our channel. Not only is this anti-free speech, this is illegal. To file a false copyright claim in the attempts to take down people's videos and silence them is straight up not allowed. Which is why YouTube, thank God, have blocked them from being able to do this. Now, as far as I could tell in these emails, they said that they may continue legal action if they feel like it's necessary. Um, so if that's something that's happens, uh, I'll, I'll come back and, and make a video on it and I'll let you guys all know um, that apparently Caitlin Bennett is really upset at making commentary videos now, so she's gonna take us all with her. But it's crazy that in 2020, after everything that's happened with commentary and freedom of speech, especially as Caitlin Bennett being one of those people who has advocated for it, that somebody who has spent all that time doing it is now coming at other people for the exact same thing they do. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, I greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna link all of the people's channels who had copyright strikes filed against them in the description below, because Caitlin Bennett doesn't want you seeing those people. She doesn't want you watching them, and go ahead and watch them. I'm sorry that this video is a bit more serious. I can't really believe that we're still doing this uh, in 2020 with everything that's going on with YouTube and copyright, so on and so forth, but um, at least YouTube have taken a step in my opinion, massively in the right direction by protecting these videos. And it would really upset Caitlin if people went and watched them. So, there you go. Peace out, people.
and have a good day. These students came out to violently assault me, harass me, and riot against me because their phones told them to, because of my conservative opinions. Opinions. Opinions.